Okay, hello everyone. We're in Photoshop. Um, just going to go over a few things so that you know how to do your um, floor plan, your template in Photoshop. So just going over some of the basic tools um, that you might want to use here. All right, so when you open up, um, you should already have this template that I've put on Minerva for you. Um, so you can get this shape here. Um, so this is our basic floor plan. So what I have done is taken a photo of our of my design that I want to put on there. So I know that these are where I want all of my things to go. Okay, so this was sort of my drawing from there. Um, yours might be obviously a lot more basic if you are doing yours mainly in Photoshop. Um, so yeah, that's just in this layer here, which we'll go over later and I just turned that on and off here. Okay, so you have to do a few things um, when you get into Photoshop for the first time. So it'll open with this. A few things you need to just check. You need to make sure first we'll go into Window and then go into Workspace and just make sure you're on this one's Essentials. Um, sometimes it sets to something else. Um, and when you click that one, that gives you then all this stuff down the side, these layers, panels, opens up, you get this adjustment and properties. Um, you have a lot more tools and things at the top here. Um, so in Photoshop, you have things in many places. Um, so you have things down the side and at the top and this side, and some of them do exactly the same thing and some of them do different things. Just sort of depends how you get used to working. Um, so the other thing you'll notice is when I click um, my object, uh, oh, nothing's coming up. So, no, not that one. There you go. I'm going to put these benches on. When I click this one, okay, you've got these squares coming up here. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. So, mine, I've got sort of shortcut pictures on mine, but this one here, if I hover over it, here we go. You can see it says show transform controls. So, yours will either look like mine, a square like this. You have to make sure that's on because without it, I cannot pick this up, I cannot scale it, I cannot move it. So, this box here, or you will have a big long plan panel that says um, show transform controls, and there'll be a little tick box. You need to make sure that's ticked. When that's ticked, you see, that's when you can select and drag and, and move things, okay? So without that, you're in trouble. As you can see, I was moving both, both things then. That's because I had both layers selected. So if I just wanted to move my benches and my trees, okay? Um, but without that being ticked, that's where you're going to get in trouble. You also have to be on this move tool, okay? So when you're on the move tool, that's where you're doing that. So sometimes kids get in trouble because they're like, that's selected and I can't move anything. And it's actually because maybe they're in the text tool here and that's why they can't do anything. They're just essentially making text boxes. Um, so I'll just, oh, so to, to delete a layer, I can just do that there. I'll get rid of that text box. Yes, I am sure. Okay, so we're going to go back to move tool. I'm going to hide that one because I don't want you to see that one yet. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we're going to make our um, floor plan. So we're going to get our images. So I've got lots of images already in here. <clears throat> so these are all in my layers. So these are all my layers and whatever is on top is the one that you can see. So you can see these benches are above this rectangle. I've just got a green rectangle I've drawn down there. Now it's below, so now you can't see it. So if I put that back up there, you can see it. So this layer order is very important. Um, you can turn things on and off here because sometimes you want to hide things. You can double click and rename things. Um, so here, this is my pond. I know it says pond there, but I can double click if I just wanted that, which you don't have to do if you only have a couple of things, but when you're getting into like 20 plus layers, it can make it quite, um, you know, it's a lot more easier to find, obviously, if you have named them. Okay, so um, if you want to delete a layer, then all you need to do is just make sure that layer is selected and hit the delete here. If you want a new layer, that's down here, okay? And there's lots of things we can do with these, but we're just starting with the very basics. So we're starting here. So I've imported lots of pictures in here and very simply you can do that by obviously saving all your images online. So I created a folder um, and I had architecture, game design and top view. So I found top view of lots of different things like a foosball table, my benches you saw, a bowling alley. So one thing I want to put in is this ice hockey table and I can literally just click and drag. So as you drag it onto this screen and not like over here or up here in the tools, you've got to be on the screen and just wait a minute. It can be quite a slow program. Photoshop is a big file. So just give it a minute. Don't start panicking. All right, beautiful. So we are there. I'm just going to make this bigger again. 
Um, so you can see, obviously, I've got, I want to now trim all this so that I remove all the background. Also up here, you can see I've got this tick. So sometimes you can't move on in Photoshop and you'll get frustrated and not know why. And sometimes it's just because you have to tick that or hit the enter key and that gets rid of it. All right, so now I've got this. This is selected so I can move it. I can scale it. I can put my thing on. So here, so I know I want my ice hockey table look down here. So I can scale it down. Um, you can get it to constrain at the top there, or you can hold shift and that keeps it the same. So without shift, you know, it's just all wiggly or with shift there. If you want to spin it, um, you can see, see how the cursor changes when I go around the corner. It's a bit hard to see. Let's do it out here. Okay. See how it's changing. So now I can spin it. So I want my ice hockey table. And I'm going to have it around here. I'm going to keep it big for now just while I do what we're doing. Um, hold on, shift. There we go. All right. So you look, that thing's there again. So we tick that. Uh, so removing the background. So for this one, what you might have to do is rasterize your layer first. And you'll know that because sometimes it will tell you to rasterize it when you go to delete. But the best thing to do is just right click. I've just right clicked on the layer here. Right click rasterize okay and what that means now is it's kind of taking a photo of it so that it knows um, that I, I want to kind of edit it now and it's much easier to edit so this is the magic erase tool okay so I've got my magic erase you can hold down in the corner and you get more options so this one you can kind of click 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 around the object and magic obviously does what it says and then I just hit my backspace key or my delete key Oh, okay, that's good. And what it's done is it's deleted everything, which I did not want. So I'm just going to control Z that. So what I have here is this um, conti contiguous, sorry, contiguous panel. Um, because that wasn't selected, that got rid of all the white. So I want to make sure that's selected. Now mine again is on a shortcut. Yours might actually say um, contiguous up here and there'll be a little tick next to it. So I'm just gonna control D and deselect so I can select again. So now it's only selected. So when I hit delete, there we go. So that's one really quick way of deleting it. Um, the other way, we're just gonna deselect again, is to come into the select tool here. And then what I can do is um, take off this bit here. Now that's gonna take me quite a while to do that. So I'm just gonna deselect and I'm just gonna spin this back around. There we go get this rectangle tool. I'm going to get rid of all of that. So just hit the delete key. Um, go back onto my move tool. Now look, this is selected here. So some people get in a problem with that because they're trying to move this and they're like, well, look, miss, that's there and that's there. And it's still not moving. It's because it's still selected, the part that we deleted earlier. Um, so you can just um, control D or command D if you're on a Mac. And now everything's back to normal. So we've got rid of the background. So that is good. Uh, so now we can get this properly to size. Okay, so now I know my ice hockey table is going to go here. Obviously, I'm not going to have that map on at the end. This is going to be my final product here. Um, but what that map does is it makes sure that I've got everything lined up. So I think if we go up, I've got my pond. So let's put that back on. So that's over here. I've already removed the background for that. So I now know I can spin that and I can put it where I want it. Um, and again, I click OK. So when I get rid of my big overarching map, you see things are starting to take place digitally. So basically, it's just a case of you um, working around with that. Um, so say the only other thing I want to show you is with these benches. Let me just turn my pond off a minute. Where's my pond? There he is. Okay. Um, these benches. So say I want to get rid of all these shadows. So I'm going to go onto my magic wand. And then you see my contiguous is on. So I want to turn that. Okay. So can you see now what that basically means is it will select anything that that's of that color, even if it's not touching it. Okay. So then when I hit the delete key, those are all gone. If that was selected, if I just control Z that, okay, if that was selected and then I went to hit it, it's only selecting it for that one. So I would have to go around each one and delete, delete, delete. Whereas if we have that one there, okay, then I can just delete. And now you can see all of my hedges are gone. And again, they're all kind of flickering. So I'm just going to deselect that. 
Um, so say I just wanted this hedge here, I could duplicate the layer and delete things or I can just easily come into my select tool here. So I want this hedge and I can just copy and paste and that has automatically made that onto another layer. So I might now call this one just hedge. Okay. So I know that's my singular. So benches and trees, I can turn that off and say my hedge. I'm not even sure if I've got a hedge in my plan. I assume I do. Yeah, I do. Here we go. So then I would turn this and spin this here and I could obviously duplicate it, hit my tick. So again, I'm just going to keep working through and putting everything where I want it to be until I've got things that match my layout. So you can see um, I've already done my pond. Oh, that was my outdoor furniture. Oh, there's my pinball machine that needs to go in somewhere. My pond was in. I've got my swing set. Uh, oh, there's something. Oh, my foosball table's down there. My bowling alley. And what's that one? Oh, was that my seesaw? So then basically all these things here, I just make sure they're selected. And then I'll look at my map and I just start to move everything where I want it to be and get it all ready for the layout, okay? Um, so that's pretty much how you're just gonna edit it. Um, so we know how to insert the image, how to rasterize, remove the background, move and scale, contiguous. Deselect is the important one um, when you're working. The other thing you might wanna do is group. Um, so with group, uh, you can just select some layers together and you can lock them together, you can link them together. Um, I'm pretty sure you can maybe edit group as well, or uh, let's just try if I shift and control G. Yes. As, oh no, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh yes, it does. Sorry. I did put them in a group here. Okay. So you can use your shortcut keys as you normally would. I'm just going to undo that. So that's grouping. Um, yeah, so that's it. So then when you save, if you save it as a Photoshop file, then that means that you keep all your layers. So you definitely want to do that when you're working with it and save it all the time because it is a big program and it might crash. Um, when you're done, you can just save it as a JPEG, which you will do by file, export, export as, and then just give it a moment. Sometimes Photoshop just needs a moment. You don't keep clicking, just give it a minute. And then you can see up here, I can export it as a PNG, a JPEG or a GIF, okay? I'm just gonna cancel it because I don't need that. But otherwise you would just go file, save, save as, and then it will just save as a Photoshop file. Um, okay, so those of you that want to go digitally and create yours in Photoshop, um, there you go. Good luck and um, enjoy.